guys out on the range today with McDuffie and its daddy son. Uh, the first video of Angry Penguin Ballistics. Um, we're going to find out today if a water heater would save your life. Water heater set up downrange and first of all we're going to try out our 22 long rifle. We have a Ruger Wrangler and then we're going to step it up a little bit. We have the FM 509. And we're bringing back the classics with the 1911 that's a Kimber Night Patrol. And then if that finally doesn't do it, then we're going to step it up to the 556. We got McDuffie here with the Ruger Wrangler 22 long rifle. He's going to take a shot down range and we'll see see what we get. Got a hit right there on front. Let's take a look around back to see with the 22 long rifle. And it doesn't look like anything went through. We have the FN 509. It's got the Parker Mountain comp on it with the 24 round mag. Uh, we're gonna have three different kinds of ammunition to try out with the nine millimeter. First of all, we have 115 grain full metal jacket, 124 grain full metal jacket. And then we also have 105 grain. It's a monolithic uh, lead lead free round. FM 509. We have a 124 grain FMJ. I'm gonna try to put this one a little lower, so that way we know where where it hit. All right. So next up will be the monolithic hollow point. I'm gonna go high on this. We got three impacts don't make fun of my penguin too bad guys but it looks like the fmj 115 grain hit here and we got the monolithic hit here and the 124 grain hit lower let's take a look around the back okay. well you'd be safe nothing come out the back it did look like we got a little bit of a bulge here though all about the bulge so next up, we got the Kimber Night Patrol in 45 ACP, and we'll be shooting the 230 grain Federal hollow point. So it looks like that one took the penguin right out with a headshot. The Lord's caliber right there, the 45. Let's see, looking around back here appear that the 45 come through but you know that water heater's filling it so so far it's looking like if you have an intruder in your house and they have a 22 long rifle a 9 millimeter or a 45 acp uh, you should be okay however if you have an intruder break into your house and uh, they happen to have a 556 with green tip ammunition uh, we're about to find out if that water heater would protect you or if you should find other means of cover. What we have today is the DPMS Panther Arms 556. Um, it does have a sight mark with a Vortex 3 times magnifier on it. So since I've not been having any luck, we're going to let McDuffie take a few shots. That's where our impacts were with the 556 five, green tip. Move around here. Ooh. Oh yeah. That'll do the job right there. So I wouldn't be able to hiding behind a water heater. So you know, this testing kind of got me thinking. Um, what would happen if someone broke in? Obviously the water heater's been holding up pretty good to our test, but what would happen if a barrage of bullets were to uh, impact the water heater and how it would handle up then. So we're going to start from the 22 and work our way up and uh, see how it takes it. See what damage we can do. Just 
We got jam. The front side took the barrage pretty well. Let's check out that back side. Well, I'd say it didn't do too good of a job stopping all those rounds, but it sure did a good job of going through them. So I just wanted to thank everyone for joining us on our first Angry Penguin ballistics video. And uh, be sure to like and subscribe. And Stay tuned for more videos. See you next time.